Today we're talking about math. Well, what in math we're going to talk about is commutative property. It's in the math process, which is in the STEM process. Um, no matter what or you put a number in, it's going to be the same answer and it only works for addition and multiplication. I'm going to show you later why it doesn't work for subtraction. Here, I'm going to show you how it works. Hey! Yeah? What are we doing today? Commutative property. How do you know? Because it says it somewhere. Okay. Hey guys, um, right now we're doing commutative property. Um, with four plus three equals seven, and three plus four equals seven. No matter how you switch it around, it's still gonna be the same answer. And also, that commutative property can work in multiplication, but I'll show you that later. Here, we're back with the little cute bears. They're just a different color. Um, and here, we're gonna use commutative property with another equation. Two plus six. Um, eight. Six plus two, eight. It's gonna be the same answer. So, if you have any trouble with this, I did it again so you can see. Using cute bears to do commutative property and multiplication. This is five times two, and this is two times five. You see how it's switched up? It's still the same answer, 10. Here, now I'm gonna show you how, why it doesn't work in subtraction. So, you know that four minus three is one, right? But you can't take four away from three, right? Cause that's gonna be negative one and it's not the same answer as one. And that's how, why it doesn't work in subtraction. I hope you um, liked learning about the commutative property and why it doesn't work about what work in subtraction. Thanks for watching my video. Bye. Like, comment, and subscribe.